this thing on that well Tell somebody shot this earth If it's you, I ain't gon' pay you well She says, good morning Wake up, wake 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 Good morning My name is Ali. I'm the vicar here at St. Wins. And this is Leah, who's our families and kids pastor. It's so great to have you with us today. What was I going to say next? Well, I was going to say we have a fantastic service. That's right. Well, all of us are going to be gathered together. We're going to have the kids. We're going to have the adults. And we're just going to have a very fun time celebrating and getting excited for Easter. Amazing. So would you like to stand? We're going to start this morning with some worship. Oh, I knew that. I knew there was something else, yes. Leah. Ready? Hallelujah! Christ is risen. He is risen in. Hallelujah! Well, that's a massive fail, isn't it? I feel like we should start the whole service again. I knew there was something really important, Leah. Uh, let's pray together, and we're going to worship this morning. If you are under the age of possibly. 100 and you would like to come up and help with the actions we'd love you to come up right now come up on stage whilst I'm praying for us this morning father we thank you that you are risen today lord we thank you that today is easter day where we celebrate your life your hope and your freedom and father would you be so very present in all that we do today and lord may today be all about you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on then, come on up. We're going to do some actions to begin with. We're going to sing wherever we go. So we're going to do some actions to go along with it. And I really need some help with this. That's lovely. Come on up. Hi this morning. Hi, hi, hi. So uh, Dan, do you want to do some words and then we'll go through some of the actions? Go for it, Beth. Uh, so we sing all my life, all I know. God's been good, good to my soul. Mountain high, valley low, I'm going to sing wherever I go. Uh, I've got joy. No? Should we have a go? Let's see how it goes. <laughs> All my life, all I know, God's been good, good to my soul. Mountain high, valley low, I'm gonna sing wherever I go.
good. Well done, everybody. We got there, didn't we? That was brilliant actions. Okay, kids, we've got plenty of ribbons for you to dance with. We're going to worship now for the next couple of songs. Let's praise God this morning on Easter Sunday. When you feel 
Just as we're standing and as we're worshipping, we're going to pray. Father, thank you that your joy is here, that you have come, that you are risen. And the pain and the grief of Holy Week, the passion story, comes with this beautiful, extraordinary ending where you bring life, where you bring hope, where you bring your promise of salvation. And Father, wherever we are at this morning, Lord, thank you that you meet us in your Holy Spirit. That, Lord, your invitation is for each one of us to come to meet with the risen Christ. And Father, where our hearts are sad, where they're broken, Lord, where we hold grief, where we're not sure of where we're going, where we know we've done things that are not in your best way. When we have sinned, Father, we thank you that your desire is for us to come to you and to confess our need of you, 
confess our sin before you. So just for a moment as the band plays, we're going to silently lift to God now all of those things that we know are not right in our hearts before God. Just bring them to him silently in your heart now. He stands before you. He stands before you with open arms. And he says, bring your troubles to me. Bring your sadness to me. Bring your worry to me. And I will take them for you. I hold your sin. I hold the brokenness that you have. Let me take those things now. And the Lord says, you are loved. You are forgiven. You are welcome, welcome in my presence. And so, Father, we thank you for the promise that you always hold for us. Thank you, Jesus, that you have made a way where there was no way. And Lord, we stand before you this morning free and able to worship you in spirit and in mind and in truth. We thank you, Jesus, for all that you are. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us and rose again. Amen. Amen. Please do take a seat. Isn't it wonderful to have such a full band this morning with our strings as well? Should we give them all a massive round of applause? They have been working so hard over the last few weeks rehearsing and just amazing. Thanks so much, band, uh, for being here with us this morning. Okay, what we're going to be doing now is just a few little notices before we move on in the rest of our service. Uh, the giving baskets are going to be coming round. Now, this is really for church family. If you belong to our church, uh, everything that you see here happens because people say yes to Jesus and they give him their lives. And that includes uh, the control of their money as well, which sounds a little bit scary, but we offer part of who we are as our giving. And so if you're part of this, uh, part of our community, the giving baskets are going around. If you're visiting this morning, please feel free to pass those on. If you want to give to the life of the church, that would be amazing. Do feel free to use the baskets if you'd like to, but there's absolutely no need to unless you would like to. We also have a giving station outside with a tapper thing if you'd rather do it that way. Um, this evening at 6.30, we also have a evening service. It's going to be super chill. We're just going to worship together and share communion. So please do come along for that as well. It's going to be an amazing time of worship. Fantastic. And lastly today, I just want to say that because we have now reached the Easter holidays, um, all our usual midweek activities um, are pausing for at least a week, if not a couple of weeks. Um, the only thing that carries on, because they're just extraordinary people, is the Renew team. And so Renew will still run on Thursdays here, um, Thursday mornings. If, if you need a quiet space to come and just be, make some craft, come and chat to some people, or just to come and simply be, you are welcome to be here on a Thursday morning. But all our other activities, that mid midweek uh, service, tots and toddlers, everything else that normally happens during the week, we're taking a break for this Easter time. Now, Leah, why have you got um, a backpack on your back? Well, some of the kids may recognize this because part of what we do at kids, we, I don't know if you've heard this word, odyssey. Odyssey means epic adventure. And the slogan for our kids ministry here is going on an epic adventure. Here we go where the odyssey begins. Wow. So throughout our time together, we've gone through Genesis. We have looked at creation. We've looked at Bible characters like Abraham. Um, and Isaac. So for us, it's just getting together and diving in and going on this epic adventure through the Bible. Now, that's going to be our theme for the game. So I think you all need Ooh. to get a little bit excited. Yes. We're going to do a game because obviously it's an all-in service, so everyone needs to get involved. <laughs> so <clears throat> hope you're all ready. Maybe shake it out. Come on, let's go. Are we ready? So this game, 
We're going on an epic adventure, and I've got my rucksack here, and I need some things to go in it. Obviously, I just can't have an empty rucksack. We need some essentials. So what we're going to do is we're going to split you guys into two teams. Ooh. Yes, it's a team game. Over here, we've got Team Bunnies. Come on, team let's bunnies. hear a whoop for Team Bunnies. Hands up for Team Bunnies. Yeah, nice. Bunnies. And then over here, we've got Team Eggs. Come on, big whoop, nice. No booing, no Come on. booing. Is there some booing Broken. going on? Friendly competition only. Now, in each of your teams, you need to pick a runner, so kids, Oh, Can yes. you either choose either to go into Team Bunnies or Team Eggs? You're going to be the runners for the team. We need, to do, we need you to help us do some work, kids. So you can either choose to be in this team or this team. Now, TJ can't be in both teams all at the same time, so we need more Come than on. one child. Come on, where's there all the are. kids? There we go. Come on up. Come, come, come. That's Don't amazing. Don't be shy. Right then, Olivia and TJ, maybe could you guys go over this side? Oh, amazing. Are Brilliant. you going to be on you Team Eggs? Side. Team and Eggs. TJ, actually, you and... And Team Bunnies. Anna. You, you're going to be on Team Bunnies. So, Anna and TJ, maybe if you guys go on that side, because we've got lots of helpers now on this side. That's amazing. Okay. Right. Stand up, stand up. How okay. this game works is I'm going to say we're going on an epic adventure. And I need, and I'm going to list something, name something, and I want you to find it, and the runners need to come, and either one of the team needs to be the first team to bring it and put it in my bag. Okay. Yes? Is that clear? So congregation, you don't get to sit down and ignore this. No, you also need no, to no. find these objects as well. You need to be helping. You also may be wearing some of these objects that we need Ooh. to take on an adventure. I'm just putting that out there. Right. Runners, are you ready? Let's hear another che cheer for Team Bunnies. And another team cheer for Team Eggs. Yes. OK. Your first item, we're going on an epic adventure. And I need a blue coat. Right. Who's got a blue coat? Congregation, oh, oh, you can also quick, help. Quick, 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 it just oh. needs to go there. That's oh, fine. Not in the rucksack. Perfect. So we've got one point for Team Eggs. Let's get a round of applause. Nice. You ready? We're going on an epic adventure. And I need a clean nappy. You never know. You never know. Yes, Ali's, Ali's keeping score. OK, are we ready? Here we go, here we go. I'm going on an epic adventure, and I need a sock. <laughs> I think that was Team Bunnies. OK, are we ready? <clears throat> Going on an epic, epic adventure, and I need an earring. Oh! Another one for the bunnies. Here we go. Yeah, we're okay, we can, okay. Ahem, are we ready? I'm going on an adventure. I'm feeling a little bit thirsty, so I need a water bottle. We got team eggs, nicely done. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I'm going on an adventure and I need a Samson phone. Not an iPhone, a Samson phone. Is, it, is, that, is that an iPhone? I ne it needs to be Samson. It is, perfect, that was. <laughs> score, what's the score? Ooh, three all. Are we ready? Here we go. <clears throat> I'm going on an epic adventure, and I need a shoelace, but it can't be attached to the shoe.
We ready? Here we go. <clears throat> I'm going on an epic adventure and my hair keeps getting in the way. I need a hair clip. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Oh my goodness! I think that was Team Bunnies! Come on! <laughs> okay, I'm going on an epic adventure. It's getting a little bit chilly. I need a jumper. No! Oh, shirts are off, it's happening! Oh! We've got one left! <laughs> I think, I think that was Team Bunnies! Yeah, come on! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm going on an epic adventure and I need something to read. I need a Bible. I need a Bible. Is it a Bible? Bible, come on. Oh, oh, it's, it's team. I think, I think it's, this it, it was this one here. here. Hey! I'm going on an epic adventure and I need, I need a lanyard. <laughs> Have I got any more to do? Oh, I'm going on an epic adventure. But my hands are a bit dirty, so I need some hand sanitizer, please. <laughs> Seven five. Right, this is, this is good. I think this is going to be the last one. Last one. Oh. Okay. oh. Two more, okay. I'm going on an epic adventure. It's getting a little bit bright outside. I need some sunglasses. <laughs> oh! Okay. <clears throat> we ready? Is this going to be our last one? Yeah, okay. I'm going on an epic adventure. I'm getting a little bit chilly. I need a scarf. Oh! Oh! Ow! Good. What's the score? It's, the score is six, eight. <laughs> Also, team, let's cheer for the winning team as well. Come on! Hey, good job. Well, I am well packed and ready for this adventure. Thank you guys for helping me pack my suitcase with me. It's over to you, Ali. <laughs> wow, that was, I mean, literally, that shoelace came off that shoe within about 10 seconds. I couldn't believe it. So good. So good. Well, I hope you're all warmed up because there's more finding to come. So we have been looking at an epic adventure. And with the grown-ups this term, we've also been looking at an adventure. We've been looking at a journey that we go on with God. And when we go on that journey, he gives us things to equip us on our journey with God. And we've been looking at lots of things that God has given us through his son, Jesus, to equip us on our journey of life with him. And we've been thinking about all sorts of things. Okay, grown-ups, here's your chance. What have we been thinking about? What have we been learning about in our equip series You'll have to put your hands up because I can't see. And so, Chris Sargent, shelter, well done. Anything else? Olivia, water, Ollie, light, two more, compass, and one more. Nourishment, fantastic. Okay, grown ups, well done, well done. Okay, so your job today is if you have a look around the church, you might see some pictures around the church of some of these things. Here's one of them. This is a picture of a compass. Okay, now your job is to start looking around at the church in a minute for some of these things. And when you find one, you don't have to be little to do this, by the way. Grown-ups, you are allowed to do this too. 
Um, when you find a picture of one of the things that we've been talking about in our Equip series, you're going to come and we're going to come and put them on the cross. So when you bring them, you're going to bring up your picture, your symbol of some of the things that Jesus said he was. He was the way. That's why we've got a picture of a compass. And we're going to come and we're going to stick them on our cross up here. And if you find one, you might get a very lovely prize, which I've hidden cunningly down here. We've got, I did promise you chocolate today. All right. And so we're going to put all the compasses in one place. We'll probably put the compasses at the top and so on and so forth. So when you're ready, I need a couple of people that are going to help me do some sticking. That would be amazing. I've got some blue tack down here. Fantastic. Well, yeah, three would be amazing. So the three of you. Are you ready? Off we go. Okay, once you've stuck your picture on the cross, if you come and find Mark, Mark is egg holder. All right, so come and collect your egg from Mark once you've stuck something on the cross. We didn't actually do a risk assessment for this. I feel like perhaps we should have done, but never mind. Let's pray as we all are very safe as we do this. I think there's more to find. If you want to keep looking, there's plenty more. Just to let you know that all the eggs are gluten-free. We think of you. We think of you.
Wow. You were amazing at finding all our different symbols. So as you can see, we've got the cross here. And we've got all the different things that Jesus said he was. Thank you so much. I'm just going to pop those down there for now. There we are. So we've got fire. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. We've got the compass where Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. We've got the shelter here where Jesus said, I am your rock. I am the rock on which you stand. Everything about me brings shelter and security. And we've got bread here. I am the bread of life, said Jesus. Jesus was a pretty amazing person. He was all of these symbols, all of these things that we can see on the cross. But they've all come and they've made up this cross. Because the cross is the biggest symbol of all that Jesus represents. Now, we always talk about the cross at Easter time. And, and who can tell me, maybe one of the children can tell me, why do we have a cross at Easter time? What's important about a cross? Yes, hand at the very back there. Big voice. Because he died on the cross. Thank you so much. He died on the cross on Good Friday. And can anybody tell us why did Jesus die on the cross? Why did he die on the cross? Yes, next to Nikki. Oh, gone all shy. I wonder if anybody else can help out. Michelle, he died for our sins. He died for our sins on the cross. And, you know, very often in church, we talk about that, don't we? We talk about Jesus dying for our sins on the cross. But what does that really all mean? Well, church, I have got a special something to show you today. And I've been practicing this all week so for those of you who pray, pray a lot right now. Here we go. So Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And this is Jesus. There's Jesus, pure and beautiful and spotless and holy. And he died for our sins. And here is our sin, dark and horrible and he died for our sins for you and for me. And here is you. All the things that you've ever done or ever might do, he died for the sins of you and for me. Now, if you look at you, you look pretty impressive, don't you? Pretty beautiful, pretty clear, pretty perfect, almost good enough to drink, really. It's just water in here, pure and clear. But the sad thing is, is that very often in our life, what happens is that we choose not to want to go with God and Jesus' way. We choose to go our own way. And we choose to do things that are not good. And we've talked about that already today. We've talked about sin that we create in our life. Sin just means doing things that are not God's holy, pure way. We think we can do better than God. And every time we choose to do things that are not God's way, we choose to turn away from him. And often we do things that are wrong. And each time that we do something that's wrong, Sin begins to come and take over our life. And every time we decide to get angry with somebody, rather than trusting in God's provision, we allow sin to come into our life. Every time we think about being uh, negative or critical, every time that we think that we are in charge of our life and not God, we allow sin to come into our life. And that makes God so sad because he never designed us to look like this. He never designed us to look like this. He made us 
in his own image. He made us to be pure and beautiful and clean, just like him. And it breaks his heart when we allow sin to come into our life. And so what God did is he had the best rescue plan that ever was. He sent himself in the form of his son, Jesus, who was made in the likeness of God. He sent Jesus into the world. And Jesus said, I can take all the sin that the world has ever created and I can take it on myself because I don't want sin to rule the world anymore. I don't want it to make the world dark and dirty and not of God. And so on Good Friday, Jesus said, and remember Jesus had never done anything wrong. He was blameless. He was not any sin at all in him. And yet on the cross, he died a criminal's death. He died symbolizing that he was going to take all the wrong things of the world for us instead of us. And he said, I am going to take the sin of the world. And the sin was poured into Jesus. You. And you know, the extraordinary thing about God, the extraordinary thing about Jesus is that because he is God, it doesn't matter how much sin the world has. It doesn't matter how much darkness the world has. In Jesus, he takes it all. And he is bigger. He is stronger. He is mightier than sin. And he takes it upon himself. And he breaks the power of sin forever. It's as if sin never existed. And on Easter Sunday, he rose again from the dead because the powers of sin and death just simply could not hold him. He is God. And he changed forever the dynamic that made sin and death bind us and hold us and keep us from looking and being and being with God. Jesus rose again. And he dealt with sin once and for all. And so for you and for me, when we hold ourselves and we stand before God, this is what we look like. But God says, I want to come and I want to be with you. Jesus says, come to me, all of you who are tired and weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. And if you let me into your life, I will bring you back into restoration with God once again. I've literally had sleepless nights about this. <laughs> Isn't that an amazing thing? That in Jesus, because of Jesus, only because of what Jesus did on the cross, can we come back and be with God once more. That's the power of the cross. That's why we call it Good Friday, because although Good Friday looked bleak and awful as Jesus took on board all of our sin, it was not the end of the story, because Sunday is coming. Sunday has come. And Sunday, in the resurrection, he breaks the power of sin and death forever. And that is why Jesus came to die for us on the cross. Band, would you like to come and make your way back up again? Uh, would you like to stand? We're going to stand and, and we're going to pray.
Father, some of us have followed you for a really long time. And Lord, we know the truth of what it means to follow you and receive your life and your hope and your freedom. And for some of us, we're just beginning that journey. And Lord, sometimes we need the encouragement of others who are walking the way, walking the journey with us to remind us that you give us, Jesus, everything that we need on our journey. That you are the way, that you point us the way to God, that you bring light, that you bring nourishment, that you bring water, that you bring all of the good things that you bring as we shelter under the shadow of your wing. And Father, for some of us this morning, we've never met you. But Lord, something in what I've said this morning has just begun to kindle a tiny flame. And so I'm going to pray a prayer this morning. And and it may be that you want to say this this morning with me in your heart. Father, I thank you that you sent your son, Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that you gave your only son, because he loved the world so much and wanted the world to be right with you again. But he came and he took all our sin, everything that we do that is not of you, everything that turns us away from you. And Jesus, thank you that you took our sin and you broke the power of sin forever. And Lord, we can't do that without you. We can't make ourselves clear and pure without you being in us, with us. And so, Jesus, I want to say yes to you being in my life with me. I long to know what difference you're going to make in my life. And I want to say yes to that journey beginning today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We're going to we're going to worship this morning. Um, if you prayed that prayer for the first time this morning, I would absolutely love to chat to you afterwards. Come and find me. I'd love to pray with you. I'd love to encourage you as you begin your odyssey, your epic journey with Jesus. Let's worship Him now.
Just like in the song that we just sang where it sings, the veil was torn before us. That, that is incredible. That means that us as people, that us as laymen, that we can step into the holies of holies. And that means that we can communicate and we can talk and we can walk with God. And today, now, as a group, we're going to go into some prayer together. Um, we've done this a couple of times with the kids. Um, it's called Teaspoon Prayer. So it stands for thankful up on the board there we go T reminds us that we need to be thankful and everyone has things that we are thankful for we are thankful for friends we are thankful for family at Easter time we're thankful for chocolate we're thankful that we have shelter over our heads the list is endless so this is a time for us just to go through all the things together in community that we are thankful for the the S in teaspoon stands for sorry and none of us are perfect Every one of us has done something wrong. Every one of us, even if it's to another person or towards God, we have things that we can lay down and ask for forgiveness for. So the S reminds us to ask for forgiveness and say sorry. And then the P at the end is please. And we serve a generous God who's got the whole of heaven prepared and ready just to abundantly bless you with. So the P, it reminds us, please, 
we can go boldly to his throne and we can say, Lord, please, I need your help in this. Lord, please, I need your provision in this. So I just want to encourage you all just to get, even if it's in the same line in a kind of like a couple of groups, um, just stand in little groups and we're going to go, each one of you are going to go through the teaspoon prayers. I've got some helpers who are going to come up and going to hand out um, some spoons. And this is just going to help us kind of just very much kind of focus on the teaspoon prayers. And sometimes it may be a little bit daunting just to pray in groups. So in the groups that you're at, if you, if you don't want to pray out loud, I just want you to hand the spoon to the next person. And the next person, whoever's holding the spoon in your little group, can do a little teaspoon prayer. And this is a time for us just to gather together in community and be able to just to communicate. The, t- the veil is torn. We're able to step into the holies of holies. Yes. So if you all gather into little groups, in, in your, if it's down in your line, just encourage you just to find other people. And the kids are going to come around and hand around some teaspoons just to help. We're going to give this just five minutes. So find each other, chat about it out loud, quietly.
Input, 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 input. Good morning. Hello. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to everyone and welcome to our service this morning. Amen. 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 Please do come and take a seat. Sorry, guys. We forgot to balance this earlier. So we're going to come to our just beautiful part in our service this morning, where we're going to celebrate communion together. Um, all the words that you're going to be able to say are going to come up, and they're going to be in bold I get to say the other words too. Would you like to stand? And we're going to stand as we say these words together. So may the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is good to give you thanks for your God, our Creator. You are loving and faithful. You are holy and strong, and you made us and the whole universe, and you filled your world with life, and you sent your son to live among us, Mary's child. He suffered on the cross. He died to save us from our sins, and he rose in glory from the dead. And you send your spirit to bring new life, to the world, and you clothe us with power from on high. And so we join this morning with the angels and all the company of heaven to celebrate and to say together, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. So, Father, on the night before he died, Jesus shared a meal with his friends. And he took bread and he thanked you. And he gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body given for you. Do this to remember me. And after the meal, Jesus took a cup of wine and he thanked you and he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you, for this is the new promise of God's unfailing love. Do this to remember me. For great is the mystery of our faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Would you like to take a seat? And we're going to pray. We're going to pray this morning. And Father, as we bring this bread and this wine and we remember his death and his resurrection, Lord, would you send your Holy Spirit that we who share these gifts may be fed by Christ's body and by his blood. Lord, would you pour your Spirit on us that we might love one another work for the healing of the earth and share the good news of Jesus as we wait for his coming in glory. For honor and praise belong to only you, heavenly Father, with Jesus your Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 
And as our, as our Lord Jesus taught us, so we pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread as we forgive, sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. <laughs> Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are money, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Come to this table, not because you must, but because you may. Come, not because you are strong, but because you are weak. Come, not because of any goodness of your own gives you a right to come, but because you need mercy and help. Come, because you love the Lord a little and would like to love him more. Come, because he loved you and gave himself for you. Come and meet the risen Christ, for we are his body. Would those who are coming to help serve communion like to come up now? We're going to have four stations today. We're going to have one at the front, we're going to have one at the back, and we're going to have one at either side. Come on up, guys. Come and collect. Come up and collect. The one at the back is going to be gluten-free. Uh, sorry, uh, alcohol-free wine. All our bread is gluten-free, but the one at the back will also have alcohol-free drink as well. We don't have stewards today, so come and uh, just take from the place where you would like to go to, wherever the easiest place is for you to get to, and come when you're ready. Come and receive God. Amen. of grace is Jesus my redeemer there is no more for heaven now to give he is my joy my righteousness and freedom my steadfast love my deep and boundless peace to this I hold my hope is only Jesus, for my life is wholly bound to Him. Oh, how strange and divine I can see. All is mine, yet not I, but through Christ in me.
Let's stand as we receive that beautiful presence of God today. We're going to say some words as we finish communion together. I always say this, but these words are my favourite words in the whole of any liturgy that we say in the Church of England. They are so beautiful and so meaningful. Let's pray this together. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, You met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gates of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us so we and all your children shall be free and the whole earth live to praise your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm just going to pray for us just to end our all-in Easter service today. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are a good God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that together in community, we have the freedom and the privilege to share communion together. Father God, thank you that it, even though the cross is just an image, it holds so much power that you just freely give to us, Lord Jesus. So I ask that we boldly come to your throne and we say... Thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you have done on the cross. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you didn't stay dead, that you have come alive. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that it is a gift for us to receive. 
And thank you, Lord Jesus, that we don't need to be anybody else. We don't need to be a perfect. We don't need to have everything in order before we come to your throne, Lord Jesus. Thank you that you call us to come as we are. And I just speak a blessing over everyone who's here, that I speak that in the name of Jesus, that your, all your bodies will come align with wholeness and with truth. And I speak peace over your minds as well. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you, that you have done it all, that victory has been won through your cross. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. We're going to finish our time of worship this morning with a, with a banger of a tune. We're going to sing Glorious Day. Um, just to warn you, in this song, towards the end, we're going to let off some confetti cannons because it's a party. Some of you have got party poppers. Just go for it when the confetti cannons go off. We want to make this an amazing celebration this morning of all that Jesus has done. And I'm going to pray a blessing over us right now before we pray that, before we sing that song. Um, and if you want to stay after we finish, you know, the band are going to continue to worship. If you would like prayer, come and find me. Come and find some of the team. We would love to pray with you this morning. Um, if we don't get to see you afterwards, it remains for me to wish you all an incredibly happy Easter. Have an amazing time of celebration together. So may God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit bless you, rest on you, bring you into the fullness of his kingdom through his Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's party. I was buried beneath my shame. Who could carry that kind of way it was my team till I met I was breathing but not alive all my fingers I tried
We could be here all day. (laughs) Uh, Father, we just thank you so much for all you've done. Lord, we pray that we would hold that fire within us this morning, this afternoon, for the rest of our lives, Jesus, in you, through you, because of you. Amen. Amen. Uh, Do stay if you'd like to stay. Uh, God bless you all if you need to go. And we'll see you all very soon. Take care.